Hi everyone, this is Shirley from Shirley's Real Life and I'm uh, going to do Tea Tuesday with you guys. I missed you last week. I'm glad you're back. Thanks for watching and we're going to do our prayer for the morning. And this side of the ring. And our prayer is, Dear Lord, you have come to save us and make us new again in Christ. When you are baptized in your name, we are cast off our old life, like removing a dirty, stained shirt. We emerge, renew, clothed in sparkling robes that shine more brightly than the sun. Our sins are washed away, and we are free from our past. Please remind me that I can have the renewal spirit at any time. Just by praying to you and accepting your forgiveness, I ask in your name, amen. The scripture reading will be coming from 1 Peter 1, 3-5. Bless the Lord and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, he has given us a new birth and to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading. Keep in heaven of you, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for the salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Amen. I hope everybody's doing well. I've been, you know, I've been under the weather for about a week or so, but I am so much better. And thank you guys for coming over and having Tea Tuesday with me. Today I'm having a uh, passion fruit. And it is so good. I tasted it before I started the video. So I wanted to make sure of how it tasted and if it was... Uh, exactly like I uh, wanted it to be. And guys, how, how it has 2022 been for you these uh, first few days of January? I hope everybody, like I say, is well and uh, looking for a very blessed and safe and healthy year. Uh, my last video, thank all of you guys for participating in that giveaway. And uh, again, congratulations to Issa for uh, winning the giveaway. And I told you guys that I was going to be bringing something new to my channel. And today is the day. We're going to uh, see what I was going to bring. I'm going to push this aside and I'm going to show you guys something. Something that I've been enjoying for the, um, let me wipe this off real quick. I've been enjoying for the last few weeks. I started off um, really, really slow on, on what I wanted to do at first because I was like, my daughter say, okay, we're going to start you all with something real cheap and so just in case you don't want to do this but I'm, I, I did want to do it because I'm used to color and I haven't done it now in about three years so I'm back to doing it and this is what I started off with just some uh, real cheaper books and everything so now I up that a little bit and this is what I started with my Christmas book. Since it was Christmas, we started off with um, Christmas. I'm getting everything ready to show you guys. This one right here was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Christmas book. So here was the first picture that I colored. Was the beginning of the book. Then we went over to a couple of more. I, I don't know if you can see it. Getting myself together and preparing. And uh, 
you know, practicing before I went and spent money on something else. So yeah, we here we go. Pain beard. And I kept on coloring and my Christmas book until I said, okay, no more Christmas. I'm getting kind of tired of the Christmas and I'm getting kind of tired of the uh I hope you were able to see that uh, all those pictures. And then this one. And I have one more that I colored that I'm going to show you guys instead of flipping through the whole thing. This one right here. So after I say, okay, enough reindeers, I started up another book. And here we go, guys. This is just a flip through on some of the books. So this was a Christmas book that I had, which was the first one. And then we went into something else. And these were uh, uh, books from the Dollar Tree, but we're get, we're going to get some more. The first one I colored in here was the little castle and the little princess. And it, they have really nice pictures in this book. I'm going to flip over to some of them, but I'm not going to do the whole flip on this particular book because I have more books that I got for Christmas and, and everything. I'm going to slide this over. This was one of them as well. Like I say, I've been practicing, so as I go along, this one right here, as I go along in my books, I'll get um, a little bit better. So from December to December of 2022, I should be, I should be doing a whole lot better in my books. So then we went and I got some uh, Creative Haven from uh, Amazon. And my first one I colored, and only one I colored in here was the front page of the book. That's the opening of the book. And she was the first one. And this was the first time that I had ever used the um, markers. So I was, the markers are not quite my friend yet, but I'm learning. So by the December, I will have learned a little bit more um, and be more friendlier and familiar with the markers. But I also added glitter to it. So I hope you guys can see it. I don't know if you can see the glitter or not, but there you go. I'm going to ask my daughter, can she see? Can you see that glitter? I wanted to make sure they can see it too. Okay. And this was uh, the Magical Fairies, and it, and they have beautiful pictures in here. And I won't flip through all of them because I'm, I'm going to save some time because I got some nice uh coloring books this year. Even my daughters bought, well, my daughter that helps do the videos with me, she started <laughs> getting the books first and getting my, my crayons and my markers and everything. She's okay. This is what you want. We're going to get you. She got it for Christmas. Then my granddaughter, she went and got me one for Christmas. I'm going to move that one and I'm going to show you some more. This one also came from, uh, it's a creative haven, and it came from uh, Amazon. And we're going to show you a couple of those. Okay, this was the first opening of the book. And this was one of the country houses, the barn. I'm going to show you another one that I colored. Okay, I got the little stickers right here. Life is better on the farm. I'm going to go to all the stickers so I won't be uh, spending a lot of time showing you, showing you a lot of pictures that I haven't covered yet. This is another one. Do I have that in in frame? Okay. So this is what I'm going to be bringing to my channel. And I hope you guys will come and 
see the coloring and see how I'm changing from month to month on my coloring. Okay, I have one more that I colored, and this is it right here. So you guys let me know where uh, I need to improve or what I'm doing that you can see that I have not seen that I'm doing that I can improve on. Okay, this one <clears throat> is the country farm. Let's see, from, uh, then I got two more that was uh, from uh, my daughter, the little fairies. And they're, they're bigger pictures. So therefore, I'll be able to practice a lot more on them. They're also very nice pictures in these books. The big flowers. So I have plenty of books to practice in. I won't be flipping through everything. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and let you see a, uh, some of the Christmas books that Okay, my granddaughter got me this one, and this was one I got from Creative Haven as well, and I only did one picture in the one that my granddaughter got, it's just the front, I'm moving it around so y'all can make sure it's in the frame, okay. Like I said, I bought this one because I'm going to be ready for this year for Christmas, but I didn't want to do a whole lot of reindeer, so I bought this one. There we go. So guys, now you have an idea of what I'm going to be doing. This year, adding to my Tea Tuesdays and some of the other things that I do on my channel. Um, I appreciate you guys for coming. And uh, these are my gel pens that I bought from Amazon. And I love these gel pens. The glitter ones, the metallic ones. So I'll be doing some of those. Like I say, the... Um, These right here are some of my, uh, oh, pull it off for me, please. Yeah, these were some of the uh, markers that I have started off coloring with. And yeah, like I say, they're, they're friendly, but not as friendly as uh, I wanted them to be. These are also some markers that I also been using or going to use. These right here are also from Crayola. The Crayola markings, we all, you know, started off using Crayola from years ago when we were small. So I am advancing into other things like uh, uh, Amazon Basic. They have uh, Fiber Castell, which I have not bought yet, which I'll work myself up to those because they're a lot of them are not cheap, but they are nice uh, coloring pencils. I have the uh, Crazy Art, which seems to file a lot better. They sharpen so much better than the Crayola. So hopefully, I'll be able to, you know, practice on some of the other markers as we get them in and see how they sharpen and they won't be going I won't be using them up so fast like I use the um, Crayola but yeah guys thank y'all for coming by I, I enjoy coloring I hope you guys enjoy it too and I'm going to be seeing you all on my next video and hope y'all guys uh, 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 enjoy the video and come back and see my next video we're going to be doing uh, a haul we're also going to be doing my cash stuffing, which I have not done for this month. All right, guys, come back and check me out. Have fun today. Have a good day. And God bless all of you. Talk to you on my next video. Bye.